and welcome back. Breaking, it's official. The Justice Department has made its decision, and it's about to get messy, folks. Breaking, Justice Department will not charge Baton Rouge officers in the killing of Alton Sterling. City braces for announcement. Now, I have a video of the incident here. It's just going to go over a couple things that most people are too polarized to see or understand. So, I got a lot of people that want to sit there and talk about his hands was down at his side, right? And if he had a gun, it was in his pocket, and he can't reach for the gun, or none of this other stuff. So, here we go. This is my backup firearm, okay? One of the many that I have, right? Now, if you saw that video, it's, they pulled something like this from his pocket. Don't know if it was a gun, but I'm just about to show you naysayers who probably haven't had a lick of firearms training whether or not somebody could actually shoot from their pockets here we go now i got on my shorts okay bam in my pocket here we go well if i have my hands in my pocket oh shit i could still shoot from here how about that or hands down at my side bam how about that i could still shoot from here, all I have to do is touch the trigger and shoot. And if I'm down on my back and I'm in a struggle, pow, pow, pow. You don't know what the fuck you would do. So for those of you all who say the gun wasn't fully extended and drawn, you don't know a damn thing about guns. Because all you have to do is touch the trigger. Now look, there is no slide involved. No rounds in here. No slide involved. Cylinder. That's it. So earlier I wrote that post because I looked at it and I'm like, oh, come on, man. This this don't look to be justified. But after I got through, after I got through seeing them pull something like this from his pocket, all I kept thinking was it could have been a gun just like this. So after seeing that, even though he was told to put his hands behind his back, he didn't do that. He got tased. He still was resisting. They took him down. He's reaching for something in his pocket. The cops can't tell what it is. With the ongoing war on police, it's become increasingly more dangerous for them. And things can happen in a split second that, you know, you, can't, you don't really know what's going on. So, having said that, if you ever get arrested, just do as the cops say. Now Black Lives Matter is going to come out and use this as an example 
to push their psychotic anti-white agenda. Because realistically, the people that may or may not march in the street over this are really anti-white. That's really what it is. It's racism against white police officers and white people in general. People organizing protests that black tr block traffic need to go to prison. <laughs> From Paul Joseph Watson. Real Amer American hero is not stopping for your dumb protest. Let's take a look. Real American heroes. We salute you, mister. I'm not stopping for your stupid protest, you fucking retards. I have shit to do, guy. We're not stopping for your fucking protest. He will steamroll right through you, motherfuckers, because he's got shit to do. We salute you, <laughs> real American hero. Uh, that's funny. What the hell are they thinking? Stop the traffic? For what? What's that supposed to achieve? You're just gonna have the civilian population hate you. Just like Black Lives Matter. Breaking news out of Detroit. Police need help identifying two individuals who fired shots at a Lyft driver in Detroit. Dramatic footage Lyft driver shot at on Detroit's east side. Police looking for information. What's the uh, major demographic of Detroit? Anybody know? Making a stop before we go. Um... Is it in the app? Hey man, put the address in there, man. Who's Brandon? That's D right there. Alright guys, out. He's gotta go in. He said what? Brandon's the one that's gotta come. I am Brandon. You just said he's Brandon. I said he Brandon. No, I'm Brandon. Then why'd he just change his change the destination on the phone? It's on my phone. It's on my phone. It's on my phone. It's on my phone. That's why they had to come get me. Oh, Let me see your ID. I don't even have my wallet. Why? All right, just get out. Damn. I'm canceling it. You guys are doing illegal shit here, and I don't want anything to do with it. Illegal? It's illegal. Yeah, because Say you're not. Come on, man, we all. It's man. his phone. Man, have a nice day. <laughs> hey, mother. <laughs> hey, stop right there. So, as we can obviously tell, it's becoming more and more difficult to the, for the left to defend their ideology. Look at what's happening. It's chaos, and we have war in our streets.